Let me take the bull by its horns and say that the greatest violators in the world, the greatest violators of human rights, of democracy, of transparency, are not found in Africa. We don't have the means, even to reach other continents. The greatest violators are the UK and the US and other European countries. This must be said loud and clear. They must preach water and drink water. They shouldn't preach water and drink wine. Look at what has happened in Iraq and the Middle East in general. If indeed destabilization and instability can lead to situations where forced labor, where forced labor is is is, uh, is, 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 is rumbling, then we must we must tell our friends, indeed they are our friends, that enough is enough. The millions of people who are killed in the name of looking for elusive weapons of mass destruction must be, something must be said about it. And we cannot continue in silence. We cannot continue in silence as our brothers in the Arab world now and elsewhere are subjugated to all sorts of inhuman treatment. We demand that in fact all the violators of human rights, be they African or, or, or otherwise, must be taken to the International Court of Justice in the head. It cannot be true, cannot be true, that that court was established for African leaders only. There must be, there must be, <laughs> there must be a way of finding our brothers and sisters elsewhere who also equally violate other people's rights with the gay abandon to face the international court of justice in the head. Otherwise, we are talking about hypocrisy. We are talking about hypocrisy. We thank the Institute of Policy Analysis and Research for their technical support in ensuring that the report in, find, in fighting trafficking in persons. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Minister. I am uh, delighted to note that uh,